Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Let's talk about time lapse and intervals. The intervals that I use for water and people, or basically anything that can break the illusion that you're watching something cinematic, as opposed to clouds and sunsets and sunrises, I use an interval as fast as possible. So I actually lock the remote's uh, shutter button, I push it in and then I lock it so it shoots as fast as it can. The result of this is that your footage will look kind of um, just a sped up video, but you're still ending up with a really high resolution because you're shooting stills, obviously. Um, for normal cityscapes and cloud stuff and landscapes even, I start at a three second interval. If I have, ha if I have fast moving clouds, if they're slower, I go up to five to maybe 10 second intervals if they're really slow. Um, and then for sunset and sunrise sequences, I shoot around eight seconds because you don't want to have a too slow interval where you miss out the, the action of the fire sky or whatever's going on. And you don't want to have too fast of an interval because then you'll have too many photos and that's not fun. That's a bit overkill, too much data gets used and too much processing. Um, and then obviously for the nighttime stuff where, shoot, where you're shooting Astro, if you're shooting with a 10 second exposure, say you have a really fast 1.4 lens and you're shooting at ISO 3200, you can get away with a 10 second photo every now and then. Use a 13 second interval. If you're shooting a 25 second uh, exposure photo, use a 30 second interval. Basically, always make sure that there's enough time between the exposure and the next photo because what can happen is you think you're shooting at a, you know, say you've got a 25 second exposure and you've got a 26 second interval, the camera is still processing the previous photo and then your remote's already triggering the next photo and then you miss the image. So instead of taking two photos per minute, you're only taking one photo per minute and you're going to be quite disappointed when you find out about that. Um, so always make sure that when you start the sequence that your camera's properly running, it's not missing any photos and yeah, and then just sit back and enjoy the view or set up a second or third camera. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing, uh, giving this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment in the comment section below so I can have a look at uh, your thoughts and your suggestions for future videos and all that. Again, thanks for watching.